I always meet people who have stereotypes about North Cyprus. So today I'm going to be telling you what's true and what's not. Let's go. Hello, my name is Artem and I'm an owner of Prime Pro Investment. And today I'm going to be telling you what is true and what is not about North Cyprus. Let's go. Many people are thinking when they cross the border of North Cyprus that uh, it would be a problem in the future to cross European countries, go to America or any other country. Actually, it's not true. Uh, you get the point in, you get the stamp in your passport and uh, you can cross all the borders. But even if you think it's going to cause you a problem in the future, you always can ask them to put it on a separate paper and no one will ever know that you crossed the border. Many people think that transferring money to North Cyprus is very hard and it's almost impossible. To be honest, it's a very easy process and all you have to do is you transfer your money to Central Bank of Turkey and Central Bank of Turkey transfers it to North Cyprus. A lot of people are thinking that North Cyprus is a very dangerous place and that we have the tanks going on the street, people with snipers shooting and stealing and so on. This is all stereotypes. It's all done by people who don't want us to evolve. They don't want us to increase the number of tourists coming to Cyprus. A lot of people are coming to buy here. So they see us as a, a threat to their business. Now, most of the people are opening eyes about North Cyprus and they're moving here. So these uh, Greeks, these European Union uh, countries, they are trying to make this look as it's dangerous. Don't come here. They will poison you. They will shoot you. Uh, I don't know what. It's not true. Here we are. Nobody's shooting. No tanks on the streets. And we're happy and we smile. This morning I thought of taking a video in uh, central of Kyrenia. And I actually wanted to do it today at 7 o'clock in the morning as it is now. So you can see all the beautiful Kyrenia site. Normally daytime we have here a lot of tourists so 7 o'clock in the morning is the only time when you can find it that quiet and peaceful. So enjoy the view. Uh, many people coming to Cyprus think that uh, Cyprus is a place where the infrastructure is at the minimum. Actually, it's not true. Of course, it's not uh, London, New York, Las Vegas, but still we have everything starting from pubs, clubs, ending with uh, children playgrounds. You have many of them, but it's not in the same uh, huge amount as you are used to. So North Cyprus actually is a developed country, but still we have a lot uh, to do and we have the place uh, where to move. So it's a good opportunity for you guys to come and open something because it's going to work for sure. Uh, many people have stereotypes that uh, North Cyprus is a place where people are hiding from Interpol and uh, you're actually right. It's true. A lot of people here are hiding, but it's people like uh, me and you. Uh, they're good people. I know some of them. And to be honest, in North Cyprus, we all live together. So you can have some uh, mechanic sitting with a millionaire, drinking beer, having fun. We're all friends here. You don't have this, I'm a very rich and you are poor, I'm not friends with you. No, we're uh, on the same level. And Cyprus is nice because of that. You can uh, sit here and there could be a guy passing with a million dollars in his bag and uh, this is North Cyprus. So Cyprus has a lot of opportunities and if you're one of these people who want to hide, Cyprus is the best place for you. Even though these people are located in North Cyprus and they're hiding, they're here uh, very good citizens. They uh, pay taxes. They are uh, living their uh, pension, let's say, yeah? So they've done whatever they did. They came here and now they live like uh, good citizens. So it's safe here. Many people have stereotypes that uh, North Cyprus medicine uh, is at a very low standard and it's actually not true. Uh, me and my wife, uh, we've had an experience where she gave birth to our child in North Cyprus and uh, it was a hell of an experience. It was a great experience, good doctors, 
the hospital. It was a private hospital in uh, Nicosia, Lefkosia. And uh, we had a room where my wife and my child are. And we had a separate room where I could uh, open my computer, uh, work on my laptop with good internet. Uh, it was private. Actually, medicine here is very good if you were talking about the private sector. If we talk about the governmental sector, yes, definitely, it, it's not very good. Uh, not very good because of the doctors. It's uh, not good because you have to come at uh, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, stay in a big queues to get a number, and then you have to wait for the doctors. And uh, the prices of visiting a doctor here in a private clinic costs you around 200 to 400 TL if it's a prof professor. So if we're talking about in pounds or dollars, it's, it's nothing. I mean, uh, our uh, governmental hospitals in our countries, we pay more than the private hospitals here. So it's not worth going to the governmental. It's better to pay 400 TL, get your things done, get in, get out. And that's it. So hospitals here are actually at a high standard if we're talking about private uh, clinics. Uh, there is a big stereotype that uh, buying a property in North Cyprus uh, is illegal. They can put you in jail, they can uh, shoot you, they can fine you, they can do uh, crazy things to you. But it's not true. Uh, this uh, stereotype is done by the Greek Cypriots who are jealous of us taking the clients from them because uh, it's the same island, it's uh, the same nature, but the prices here in North Cyprus are uh, twice lower than there. And they're losing this uh, gap of uh, investments coming to the economy and they want people to come back to them. So that's why they're creating this miracles or stories that uh, we, sh we get shot here, we get poisoned, uh, you go to jail, someone takes your property after you buy it. It's not true. Yeah, we, um, we have a government here, we have our own regulations, parliament, president and so on. So. Uh, North Cyprus is a very strict place. It's actually more strict than the Greek part. Uh, we have Saxon law here and uh, you're always safe. Uh, we drive on the same side as UK. So you can always feel that you're at home. Welcome. We're always here for you. Uh, many people have stereotyped that uh, Cyprus in general is a very small island. You come here and it takes you five minutes from one side to another. It's actually a stereotype, it's not true. Cyprus from one side to another side might take you from uh, three to four hours drive. Uh, we have many different cities here, starting from uh, uh, Famagusta, Iskele, Karpas, uh, Esentepe, Kyrenia, Nicosia, Guzelirut, Lefke, and so on. Like I can continue on and on about uh, the cities, yeah? But, uh, uh, for example, Kyrenia is a hub of tourists with uh, a lot of castles, uh, nice views. It's where the mountains meet uh, the sea. Yeah, If we talk about Esentepe, it's a place for retirement. A lot of uh, British and European people like to go there, uh, buy their own villa by the sea and you know just relax. If we're talking about Famagusta, it's the biggest port in Cyprus. Yeah. Guzelurt Lefke, it's uh, the greenest part of Cyprus, which uh, does production of citrus and so on. North Cyprus is not that small. Uh, you're always welcome. We'll always show you around, uh, introduce you to North Cyprus and help you to do the right choice. Dear friends, I hope uh, this video was productive. I answered many of your questions. If you have any other question left in your uh, mind, please don't hesitate. Always write, call my number and I'll be more than glad to help you answer all the questions and help you to move to North Cyprus.